Welcome guys. I'm doing something a little bit different for this episode. People have been asking me about my texture pack and this is a tutorial on how to use your image editing program and edit a texture pack to however you'd like. Um, you need a couple different things. First you need your texture pack. I My base texture pack is the Frendon texture pack. I will have links to these sites in the description, but you'll download it and then you should have it right here. So it'll be a zip folder. You unzip it. On Mac you just double click and then a folder will pop out. And then go into that and you should come, it should have all these things in it. Here's like the paintings folder, here's what your Minecraft uh, GUI looks like, but the, fold, the file you really want to pay attention to is this terrain.ping. Open that up with whatever image editing, editing software you like. I use Photoshop. And once it is opened up, it should look like this. You can zoom in. But here's all the textures and every texture pack is different but they all all the textures are in the same spot so obsidian will always be in this spot the stone will always be in that spot cobblestone will always be in that spot just a good thing to know now if you want to change your textures so for instance I really hate that obsidian texture that it's purple it should be black Obsidian's black, it's not purple. <laughs> anyway, um, so find a texture that preferably the same size. So this texture pack is 16 by 16. So I'll just open up my texture, the one I edited. And zoom in. So here we've got these two textures. So this one's mine, and then this one is Frendon's. Let's say you don't like the obsidian. So if you go into the texture pack that you actually like the obsidian texture, grab your selector tool um, that will highlight. In Photoshop it's this rectangular marquee tool, and you can zoom in, and the more you zoom in you'll start seeing pixels. So you can select these pixels. Oh. And then once you've selected just this square, you don't want to select more than this square, then you can copy it and then go into the texture pack that you like and that you want to change and then just paste it in and then move it to just cover that texture. And there you go. It is now changed to that color. And you can do this to any of them. Any of them. You can change it however you'd like. It's it's kind of cool. I played around it for with it for a while just because I was like, oh, this is so cool. So, like, let's say you want to hide your TNT for a cool obstacle course. So you select, let's say, uh, cobblestone. So you grab your cobblestone, you have to select the right amount, zoom in. It does help to zoom in. And then you select your cobblestone texture, and copy, oh, you have to select that layer, copy, and then paste it in, and then you can move the texture and cover up the TNT and now TNT will look like cobblestone. Kind of crazy. You can do this with anything. Um, the top and bottom of TNT you'd have to change as well so you can hold down alt and that'll copy again and just paste it over and now TNT looks like cobblestone. So any texture you can change. Any texture. And if you want to do something different for this 
animation like I did. In mine, I have that battery. You can just select this, and there are ten different spots for the cracking or whatever you'd like to put in there. Select this layer and just delete, and then use your pencil tool. I have it set at one pixel, and then choose whatever color you want. So let's just uh, let's just do black. Uh, let's do black, and then um, I don't know. Let's do a vertical container thing. Oh, and just mess it up. Eh, whatever. We'll say it looks like that, even though you probably wouldn't want that. So this one is just the first one, so I'd put one bar. And then the next one, I could just copy and then paste. Add your bar of red, and then you just go up from there. That's how you change your little animation. So for any of these, you can change however you'd like. And then when you are finished editing, so we'll say this is our finished product. You can select all your layers and then merge them and just save. And it should change that ping file. Quit out of here. And so in here, this is mine, but the friend and texture pack, now when you open the terrain and look at it, the textures have changed. So those two are different, that one's different, the TNT is different, and to install this into Minecraft you will want to compress this so you'll now get a zip folder. Oh, this is mine, but you'll want to compress this one. So that's your new texture pack, and then you need to download the HD Texture Fix program. Um, someone came up with this to put HD textures in Minecraft. So you can go up to 256 by 256 instead of the one I use is 16 by 16. Um, but the higher res you get, the more demanding it is on your computer, so just so you know. So you download this. There are some bugs in the program, but just download whatever one applies to whatever system you're using and then go to the patcher double click and double click and then you open it and it should look like this and I'm pretty sure it looks like this on Windows as well click the texture pack box browse and then look for your zip folder so this one, the friend in. So this one, and then you open it, and it should automatically change the size, but if it doesn't, click the right size for whatever texture pack you're using, and then click patch, and it'll patch over Minecraft, and then you want to test Minecraft, make sure it opens, and then you can exit out of that patcher the test and then exit out of here and then you can open Minecraft and when you do this it changes the default texture so now I've got this and so when you go in here default has changed to the friend and texture and then everything should look different even though mine looks the same <laughs> There are a few things I changed, and I can show you those. So, like, my chests now look like drawers, and the crafting uh, box block now looks like a little drawer desk thing. Pretty cool, but you can change any of these textures, which is awesome. I will have links to all of these Things, so the friend and texture pack and the patcher 
and I will have a link to my texture pack, so my mix of Frandon that you can download and use, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.